What's up, YouTube? Have you ever wondered about the Ori Grid for your iPad? It's a special case that works with the Magic Keyboard in order to give your iPad extra storage for physical items. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back. My name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and I love doing work on my iPad and especially doing work here on the iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard. I take this everywhere with me. You know, my wife and I, we run our travel blog, yellowvantravels.com, and we travel a lot. And so I'm doing work on the iPad all the time. And if you remember, probably about a month or two ago, I got this case for the iPad. It's kind of a case, it's more kind of like a backpack for the iPad that you slide onto the back of the Magic Keyboard. And this is it right here, you can see it. This is the Ori Grid by Tiny Rigs. I first saw this in an accessory video from Chris over at Daily Tech, and he seemed to think it was really cool, and I thought it was a really great solution because one of the problems I encounter all the time is carrying peripherals for the iPad, things that I plug into the USB-C port. So when I'm in the car or on an airplane, I'm trying to do editing or design work, and I've got these peripherals plugged in so that I have my files, or I can transfer from memory cards or that kind of thing, and it just gets to be all over the place. So I thought this was going to be a great solution. And I did an unboxing video a while ago, and it did take a long time to come. And now I wanna do a full review for you and really tell you about the things that I think are good about it, as well as the things that I think are not so great and you should be warned of before buying it yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I wanna talk about using the Ori Grid. So the Ori Grid just slides on to the Magic Keyboard. So let me go ahead and show this to you. So you can see it just slides on over the top of the Magic Keyboard there, and it's just one piece. It doesn't cover the bottom of the Magic Keyboard or anything like that. Just slides over it, and it's not too difficult to put on, so you kind of have to wiggle it in there and slide it on. I'm using an 11-inch iPad Pro, but it, there are also these for the 12.9-inch ones as well. So you can get it for anything that can use the Magic Keyboard, basically. So you could use it with an iPad Air as well. And the thing is, it has that gap there so that the smart connector still works so that you can still use your keyboard, which is critical to kind of the whole thing. One thing to note is just like when you're using the Magic Keyboard, when you're using this, you're going to be kind of locked into a landscape orientation. Now, the main feature here is this weave. So you can see the weave is used to hold it in place. So I have one of my hard drives right here and you can change the weave by undoing these snaps along here and then threading it through. And I will say that at the beginning, this took some getting used to for me. I wasn't really sure where to weave what at the beginning, but I figured it out pretty quickly. And you really only have to do that a couple times because once you have it set for the accessories you use a lot, you won't need to change it that much unless you're changing up the accessories that you're carrying with your iPad all the time. So I've pretty much got it set up the way that I want it, and now I just use it. But it does take a little bit of getting used to here. When you're doing this, you just have to unsnap these, and then pull them through. And you just have to figure out where you want the weave to be to hold whatever you want it to hold. And that is basically the main feature of this Ori Grid from Tiny Rigs. That is the big thing. Then there's a few other features, but I think that that's really useful. It is does what it says it does, and it's been really, really valuable to me in my travels recently. I didn't travel a lot over the last year and a half like most people, but travels picked up a little bit again. So I've been able to take this on a few trips with me and it is so useful to be able to have my hard drives or I have a spot up here where I put my card readers. It's so useful to have it. So I took it on our trip to Disneyland recently, also on our trip to Hawaii. And then we just got back from a little trip down to Southern Utah. And so I've been taking it quite a bit and doing work in the car and on the airplane at hotels Airbnbs, that kind of thing. It's just been super useful to have this. So I love this concept. I think this concept is super useful, but there are some things in the execution and the build quality of this concept that I have concerns about that I'll tell you about in a little bit, but let's go over some of the other features first. This zipper pocket down here, this is different depending on which size you get. There is a little AirPods pocket if you get the 12.9, but mine just has the zipper pocket. That's really useful for carrying things like memory cards. I have the little cable for my hard drive in here. And so obviously I don't normally do this from the back, <laughs> but it's pretty easy to get things in and out of there. And it's just a little zipper pocket. Um, you could put pencils in there or whatever you want. Speaking of the pencil, here's my pencil on top, but there's also this loop here that you can slide it into. And at first I was like, why do I need that loop? I, I don't need that loop because it's going to be magneted on all the time. But this is, well, it's pretty strong. 
doesn't always hold up when you're in a backpack, you know, running through the airport, that kind of thing. And so I actually found that I wanted to use the loop. So I just slide it in there and then I felt like it wasn't going to get bumped off. I'll talk about that again in a little bit, but I'm a little bit concerned about the build quality of that loop as well. But as a feature, it's actually quite useful. And those are kind of the main features of it there. One thing to note is this loop does make this top weave a little bit awkward. So it's a little bit hard to put anything in the top weave because of where the loop is, especially if you have the pencil in there. So just kind of make a note of that. Like I said, I've used this in the real world quite a bit for actual like travel and getting around. You can put anything in there, but obviously I'm putting peripherals in there for the kind of work that I'm doing as a designer, video editor, that kind of thing. Okay, let's get on to the build quality because I think this is the biggest concern here. The build quality, and I mentioned this when I was unboxing it, the build quality didn't seem super great. And that has unfortunately panned out to be the case. So I don't know about the long lasting nature of this. So there's a couple of things. One, this loop has gotten pretty loose. And so now this kind of just slides. And if my iPad is in my backpack vertically, it will eventually slide. And it hasn't slid in out yet, but I think it might. And so that kind of defeats the purpose of having that loop there to begin with if you can't use it. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. It seems to be stretching out over time. And I've been using this for what, a month or two, not too long. So that's a little bit concerning. Another concern that I have is if I take this off and show you fabric here that holds the magic keyboard in place, it's um, stretchy, but it feels kind of flimsy. And I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Nothing has gone wrong with it yet, but it totally might. And then there's another spot here. Let me try and show this to you here. But this, this fabric has never really been attached to the camera cover and it just seems like that's going to be a point of failure down the road probably. And then lastly, and probably the most concerning of all, this has just been noticed recently, is these snaps here. Well, one, they're getting tarnished, so you can kind of see along there, they're getting kind of tarnished. It doesn't really hurt their functionality, but it may not look super nice after a while. But the one thing that I'm really concerned about is that they appear to be um, getting loose and breaking. So let me undo this one here for you, if I can. It's kind of pulling away and that makes it really hard to undo it. And I'm concerned about the future of it here. So you can see I had a hard time getting it undone. And then let me show that there to you pulling away from the actual leather or fake leather. I'm not sure there. And then if you look at the back, it's bent and it's probably going to break along there. And so this is really a concern of mine because the whole point of this is the weave holding the stuff in place. And if these snaps don't hold up, then the whole thing is probably not going to be usable in the future. And I feel like this should not be happening this early on in the experience with this. It definitely shouldn't be showing this kind of wear and tear so early. So that is my main concern because I think that will make the whole thing defunct. I don't know if I'll be able to get that repaired or replaced. I have thought about maybe he's trying to send this back. Maybe this is a defective unit and getting another one, but it took a long, long time for it to get here. And so kind of a hassle to try and deal with them. It comes from China via China Post. And of course, everything's been delayed. I'm not sure what I should do. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do. If you have one of these, let me know if you're seeing the same kind of build problems or if mine's just, you know, a unit with some problems. And also if you know of another company that does this or there's another product like that, I'd be super interested in that because I, like I said, I love the functionality here. It really, really helps me out in my work as I'm traveling, as I'm out and about, or even just around the house as I'm like taking care of my daughters, I can be with them and I can be kind of untethered from my desktop. Now we've talked about the use and the build quality. Let's go ahead and let's talk about the price. So this is the 11 inch one and I paid $31.99 and then I had to pay $7.50 for shipping. So just about $40 for me to get this. And of course, depending on what style you get, it could be a little bit more or a little bit less um, if it's the bigger one or if you get a different color or material, it could be a little bit more and it took a long time to come. So for me, if it worked, $40 would totally be worth it. If it doesn't break, $40 for me is going to be worth it in order for the me to get the functionality out of it that I've been getting from it. But if it doesn't work, then $40 was way too much for me to get something that was going to break. 
So I'm still kind of on the fence. If it does break, I'll probably do a video updating you on that and kind of where the points of failure are. We can kind of see where they might be. But do you have any other questions about it? Let me know those in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'm very interested to know your experience if you also have an Ori grid. That's going to be it for today. I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video. That's because I've been doing some traveling and been very busy um, with school and work and other things like that. So sorry for the lateness of getting another video out for you guys. As always, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for videos you'd like to see of different types of design that you would like to see me learn or programs that you'd like to see me experiment with. Thanks so much for watching. We will chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.